Alright, yes, thank you very much for staying with us once again and joining us on this channel, Sports 7 GH. It's always a great, great pleasure to have you join us. Thank you very much for staying with us. In this video, we are going to look at Ghana versus Mexico. Friendly game coming on. When is the friendly game coming on? How is it going to be played? What are the details of the Ghana versus Mexico friendly game? We are going to give it to you on this channel. Black Stars player um, has signed for a new club in Saudi Arabia. Yes, we are going to talk to you about this player also in detail. And then the trending news is that sports minister says he has paid three point in fact in excess of three million dollars to the ghana broadcasting corporation for the um broadcast of the all african games that we hosted in march now the gbc directors is that no 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 please you've not paid that amount of money to us you've only paid one hundred and five thousand in excess of one hundred and five thousand dollars to ask but if you look at the two information very well you will see that they are all saying the same thing but they are just not saying it the right way i'm going to try my best to explain what has been uh what is happening okay to you in this video on this channel sports 7gh do all to subscribe to the channel like this video hit the notification bell and select all leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any it's always a great great pleasure to have you join us thank you very much for staying with us now the sports minister mustafa yusuf appeared before the public accounts committee and he was asked an um, a straightforward answer question that how much did you pay to the gbc for a broadcast of the all african games the sports minister said three million in excess of three million dollars he said that he doesn't really remember the amount of money but then it is in excess of three million dollars and the money has been paid to gbc now a lot of people started making noise about it hey can you use three million dollars for the broadcast gbc was supposed to even pay money all of that and then the gbc director general reacted to the issue or in fact he came to reply he said that we received one hundred and five thousand dollars for african games coverage not three million dollars that's what he has said and in fact the gbc director no, he also said that we benefited one hundred and five thousand dollars that that that's the word he has been using right now he said that we benefited one hundred and five thousand dollars you benefited now the details of the issue is that they're gonna yeah in fact if you read fentua tahiru fentu's post he was part of those people who were commentating commentators during the the all african games and he explains that look the ghana gbc could never have called um um, um, um telecasted the whole african games in different places at, at the same time and even the the say, different sports and all of that the gbc couldn't have done that they they got help from other african countries in fact some french um broadcasting this thing became on board to help those broadcasters were actually telecasting the Afri um afcon and all of that they came on board to help the gbc to telecast that particular um competition or the games which is the african games so that it will be well. so those um um broadcasters from other countries coming on board you no know, you have to pay them because the machines and the things they are going to use for the production you, know, you gbc you don't have some and if you are going to buy those machines now you it will cost you millions of dollars so as they are come to use their things to help you in the coverage you have to pay them and all of those things amounted to the three million dollars so right now you can the, the conversation can be shifted from whether they paid it or not to the fact that should three million dollars or in excess of that be used to telecast um, african games in ghana in a country like ghana that can be the conversation and that one there it is left for but i'm saying that three million dollars was paid and all of that didn't go to gbc like the director general is saying okay but then they use some of the money to pay other broadcasters who came on board to help the gbc to ah now OG TV sports plus how can you be telecasting football game in legon page and then also be telecasting um competitions at the boteman complex at the same time 
Sometimes Quran on Mutimi, yeah, you be that. Uh, GBC cannot do that. And even that Quran on they will also be telecasting other competitions in Cape Coast Stadium and the rest. They couldn't have done that. So they help they ensure that other broadcasters will come on board. So that's the whole situation, though. But then at the end of it all, GBC is saying that they benefited 105. So that's the amount of money they got. And as a GBC for the video of Muhaibia, oh, you yeah, are telecasting and then you are getting this amount of money. But it's not three million dollars. You get the point I'm saying. I hope that you you agree with me, and then if I you get it, it's not like you should agree. You you should just get it. All right. Now, Black Stars player, former Black Stars player, yes, Bernard Mensah, attacking midfielder, has signed for Saudi Arabian club um, Al Riyadh after leaving Al Tai. Yes, Al Tai were relegated from the Saudi Arabian Pro League, and so Ghanaian midfielder Bernard Mensah has joined Al Riyadh. SC ahead of the new Saudi Pro League season. The 29 year old linked um, uh, <laughs> to a lot of deals. Had to join the capital based club after leaving relegated our tie at the end of the season. Mensa enjoyed a successful first campaign in the Saudi Pro League and was one of the best players in the top flight, scoring 14 goals and delivering two assists in 30 matches. Hello, I am Bernard Mensa. I am really happy to be here and a new challenge with our Real Club. We are hoping for a better season this year. Keep supporting us. He said after sealing the deal. That is Bernard Mensah saying that after sealing the deal. The former Ghana international uh, was one of the players to arrive from Europe to the Saudi Pro League last summer. Joining our tie from Turkey Super League where he played for... Kasai Sport, Besiktas, and Kasimpasa. The former Atletico Madrid midfielder is expected to play a key role at Al Riyad FC in the upcoming Saudi Pro League. Um, <laughs> yes, in Saudi Arabia. So, former Black Stars player. Right now, he's still not a Black Stars player. Yes, former Black Stars player. Bernard Mensah, after an exciting season with Al Tai in the Saudi Pro League, they were relegated. To the division one in Saudi Arabia, he said, "I know I will not go with you. I tie. I'm sorry. I cannot go with you. I am a top player. I cannot go with you." And so he didn't go with them, and then he assigned for Ariad SC in Saudi Arabia. Now, Ghana Black Princesses will be representing Ghana as they play international friendly game versus Mexico ahead of their FIFA World Cup. Um, and the 20 FIFA World Cup Women's World Cup that will be coming on in Colombia. The game will be coming on in Colombia, and it's a friendly game on the 22nd of August. That is two days from now. On Thursday, the Ghana Black Princesses will be playing a friendly game versus Mexico. Um, the FIFA Under 20 Women's World Cup will be coming on from the 31st of August through to somewhere in September. All right, yes, so it will start on the 31st of August. And the black princesses are playing yet another friendly game to ensure that they get the enough preparations for the world cup that will be coming on in a um, on 31st of august let me know your thoughts comment views opinions in the comment section of this video like the video hit the notification bell and select or leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have been it's always a great great pleasure to have you join us i'll see you in the next one bye